Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today in top Reddit posts, we're gonna be taking a look on choosing beggars. Story time! And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button for content coming up almost every day. And now to our video. Only five dollars? Oh, sorry, my mistake. This happened earlier today. I had dropped my daughter off at an event and had about 90 minutes to queue. So I decided to head one town over to pick up a few geocaches that had been taunting me. After my second cache hunt, I parked across the street from a little bodega to see where I should try my lucky next. As I am going through the nearby geocaches on my phone, I noticed a man begging for money from passers-by outside of the bodega. I found a likely cache, then decided to buy a bottle of water at the bodega. Sidebar. I drive a 2010 Chrysler 300C all-wheel drive. I inherited the car from my mother when she passed away in December 2017. It's not the type of car that I would buy for myself, but it runs really well, and I have few complaints about it, so I drive it. I left my car across the street and sure enough, the guy asked me for some money for some food. I was feeling generous and it was a nice day, so I reached into my wallet and handed him a $5 bill. Given the neighborhood, the odds were good that he'd use it for drugs, but whatever. I went inside, bought my water and left. As I walked out, the man stopped me. Hey brother, would you have anything else for me? Uh, excuse me? I mean, you must have lots of money driving that big cars of yours. Didn't I just give you five? Yeah, man, but that chump change. I'll bet you've got plenty more on you right now. Casually takes a step back. So, you'd rather have something other than the five I gave you? Yeah, how about it? <laughs> sure thing. Pulling my wallet. Where's that five I gave you? He hands me back the $5 bill. I take the bill. I don't know what I was thinking, I'm sorry. And put back the $5 bill into the wallet, pockets my wallet. Have a great day. And with that, I turned and went back to my car. I was about halfway across the street when the guy started yelling at me. I turned and waved, more to make sure he wasn't chasing after me than to goad him on. But he just stood there yelling racist comments at me. By the time I got in my car and pulled away, he was standing on the street cursing me out. I waved and left. No free riders. I'm a rideshare driver, so my Jeep has required logos. I pull into a gas station, a guy seen then walks up to me. Hey, nice ride. Thanks. What is it? A uh, 16 Renegade? You drive? I'm actually off right now. Can you give me a ride? I've been waiting forever. I'm sorry, I'm not working. I'm on my way to... Come on, just go online. It doesn't work like that. Besides, I have plans. Fine. Goes to open my back door. Uh, what the hell? Look, I'm just going there. It's no big deal. That's way out of my way. Come on, man. <sighs> Are you carrying cash? No, why? That's a 20 plus ride. I can't go on the app, but if you got the cash... I'm not paying you. I have a promotion for a free ride. Then you have to wait for a ride. God damn you racist ass! I worked my ass off today hauling wood to give it away for free. I have a couple acres of wooded property. Over the past winter, I had several maple trees and a few spruce trees fall over. I spent the better part of eight hours filling hung trees, then limbing and bucking them up. A few of them were pretty massive and I lugged everything by hand wheelbarrow. I posted an ad to a couple local Facebook groups giving away the wood for free. Wood goes for $250 a cord around here, so free is a great deal. It's probably two to three cord. I got about 20 messages right away. I had people wanting me to deliver it. I had people want me to split it. 
I even had one guy call and ask if I could give him birch instead of maple or spruce. I deleted my freaking ad and I'm going to see if any local charities take firewood. Freaking choosing beggars. Choosing beggar at my restaurant last night said she could make the same thing cheaper at home. I own a casual American restaurant. We're pretty popular with the locals in my small town and we've recently seen spiking out of town diners because a semi-famous Instagram chick gave me a ton of exposure. She also paid for her food, didn't even ask to be comped. One of these out of town visitors is a subject of today's story. So last night at around 7, my daughter comes into my office and tells me that there's a woman at one of her tables who needs to speak with the owner. So I get out on the floor and get to meet out of town lady, OOT, her husband, H, and their teenage son, T. Hi, I'm the owner. Your server told me you wanted to have a word with me. Is there a problem? H and T, look down at the table and avoid eye contact. I'm looking at the price here, gesture to the menu. And this is just unacceptable. How can you justify these prices? Do you think this is New York City? For the record, the most expensive item in my menu is a $23 rebuy steak. Ma'am, I understand your concern, but these are the price I need to set in order to make money. You are making too much money. These prices aren't fair. You want $7 for a chicken wrap? Chicken's $2 a pound. You're charging $7 for 50 cents worth of chicken. At this point, her face started turning red. Ma'am, a lot more goes into that dish than just the chicken. I also have to pay for my cooks, my servers, the utilities I use to prepare the food, and the rent for this building. I bet I could make a chicken wrap just as good for about a buck. You're robbing people. Ma'am, you want to go home and make your own dinner? That would make me very happy. I don't want your money and I don't want you in my establishment any longer. We drove for two goddamn hours. You will serve us. Honey, no, I'm not putting up with this. I want the chicken wrap and I want it for $3. Teenager gets up and walks out of the restaurant. I'm sorry, there's no reasoning with her when she's in the mood. I am getting my chicken wrap or not. Ma'am, I've asked you politely to leave. You are not welcome here. Your husband and son can eat if they want, but you have to leave. I'm going to give you a few minutes to compose yourself, and then I'm calling the sheriff if you're still here. I walk into the back and watch through the cameras as her husband led her out of the restaurant. I am really glad that lady didn't make me call the cops on her. Last time I had to call them, someone got tased. That was a bad day. Added by popular demand, the taser story. I had to fire a server smack dab in the middle of our rush. She referred to my daughter using a racial slur, and she refused to leave. So I called the cops to have her removed. The one cop left his partner alone with her to come give me an update on the situation. While that cop was talking to me, she slapped the other cop and he tased her in front of all my customers. I comped 42 meals that night out of 100 total covers. So a girl, the server, got hurt, my daughter got called an N-word and I had to give up almost half my profit for the day. Overall, a pretty bad day. Either treat your kid like an adult or buy her a bus ticket. I had a friend in college who was always kind of a user. She never had a car, so she would ask me a lot of times to give her rides here and there, mostly to grocery stores and the mall. I agreed the first few times because we were friends and she had just happened to ask when I was about to go out to those places. Anyways, the end of the semester rolls around and she keeps asking me if I can give her a ride home. We lived in kind of the same area, but I was still unsure of when I was leaving or if I was going to drive myself. 
for maybe a week while I'm still trying to figure out how I plan on getting home she comes up to me with my mom wants your license number and a picture of your insurance I look at her like uh excuse me she tells me the same thing again I ask her why she hits me with my mom says you can't drive me home unless she has a copy of your driving record I basically tell her well then it looks like I'm not driving you home first of all I hadn't even agreed to take her back home yet I wasn't even sure if I was driving myself. Second, there was no way in hell I was going to give a complete stranger any bit of my personal information. Third, we're in our early 20s. We're not children anymore. I get that she wants to make sure her kid is safe, but at some point, you would think parents would learn to take a step back. Buyer demands a $5,000 discount on my motorcycle and then calls me a scammer when I fail to oblige. This story in no way competes with some of the others on this forums, but I thought I would post anyway. Last year, I found a 2007 Big Dog K9 for sale for $11,000. I offered the dealership consignment sale FYI. $10,000 cash, knowing that once I got bored with it, I could probably pawn it for $12,000, $14,000 around Philly. They accepted. Wrote it summer 18. Shoot forward to last month when I list it for sale and I receive a phone call from a gentleman who seemed to know very specific details about this bike. Did you buy this bike from Quadruple X dealership? From that guy Triple X? Yes, I did. How much did you pay? Not really sure that's relevant. I'm asking $14,000, but there's some wiggle room for a cash deal. They're going to sell it for me for $9,000. I was skeptical about the title, so I was researching when you bought it instead. Do you know for sure if the title is good? My title is clear. It's in my hand right now and... Well, like I said, they're going to sell it for me for $9,000. You have it advertised for $14,000, but I was supposed to buy it for $9,000, and they accepted my offer until I backed out because I got word the title might be bad. $9,000, not $14,000. You should have bought it when you had the chance. It was priced properly, and it's got under 6,000 miles. I think you're missing the point. If an actual dealership was going to sell it for me for $9,000, why would I pay a stranger more than that? It's obviously only worth $9,000. i am calling BS. I've already received a few offers much higher than $9,000. I have no reason to sell it that cheap. I guess we'll see. What are we going to see exactly? Lost me there. You're not selling it for $14,000 when a dealership will only sell it for $9,000. That's ridiculous. Well, like I said, I have a few offers already for much higher than 9000 so I really can't think of any reason why I wouldn't want to go with the highest bid. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we will. I sold the bike the next week for 13000 But I wanted the Disney clothes. I have three girls. My youngest are three years apart. My husband had an employee that says hi and smiles when he sees me. That is the extent of our relationship. Well, last week she cornered me and explained that her daughter is a year younger than my middle child. Husband has pictures all over his desk and she asked him. She asked if I had any hand-me-downs. I explained that I'm saving everything worth saving for my youngest. She pleaded and said that she was going through a rough time and needed some clothes for her kid. So, of course, I went home and found some things. Now today, husband brought in a brown grocery bag of clothes. She was absolutely appalled. She has been ranting and raving at our middle child wears Disney princess costumes and high-end clothes. And we gave her stuff fit for a hobo. It was to the point that she was distracting other employees on the phone and the owner gave her a warning. If she didn't drop it, she could go home. She responded that she would drop that entitled bitch. 
so the owner fired her on the spot for her threat. I wasn't there but we were very close with the owner and he called me personally before my husband even had the chance to. Whoa! I know it doesn't matter but I shop at Walmart for almost all of the clothes I buy my kids. Anything fancier than Walmart is purchased by one of the grandmas or the girls as their daddy. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video and I'm sorry if I tricked you with the thumbnail but uh, you know what? I told you to only watch it tomorrow. But hey guys, seriously, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. Give me a thumbs up or down, leave me a comment and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be running a giveaway of 5 $30 gift certificates. And depending on the revenue I get from YouTube, from the YouTube overlords, I should say. I also gonna be giving away a PS4 or Xbox One, whatever the winner chooses. Guys, have a great weekend, and I may actually have another video coming up this weekend for you. Thank you very much, and take care.